Hello, everybody. This is Kate Strashny from Dedicated. I'm in Las Vegas at AWS reInvent. Really excited to have an opportunity to chat with Karen from NatWest. Karen, how's your reInvent going? Do you know, so far, I've absolutely loved it. We flew in from the UK last night. And we were up bright and early to get second row seats at the keynote this morning. And it was amazing. Oh, my God. Yes, it was full of action. It's it, it just such a huge crowd. And they're here for a reason, right? Exactly. And they're so excited just to see all of the voice of the customer work that AWS do. Like we're asking for things and then it's coming up at reInvent and saying, OK, we've solved this for you. We've solved that for you. And I think for me, I absolutely loved the attention to evals because I think that evals has been one of the things that's holding back agentic adoption. So really excited to get on board with that. And then just in the last 10 minutes, Matt launched 25 additional or new services, all of which we were recognizing. We've been asking for them, whether they were S3 limits or anything at all, just things that small things that really will help us go faster in solving problems for our customers. So it was really exciting. It feels good when your, I guess, your, your partner knows what you want and gives it to you, right? Exactly. Yeah, they know as well. And they're always listening to what we're looking for or the problems that we have and kind of trying to you help us solve them. You Karen, tell me about your problems. What's <laughs> going on at NatWest? <laughs> Not problems, but what are you solving for there? Well, do you know, NatWest is um, almost 300 years old. So we'll be 300 years old in 2027. So we've got a long heritage mm. of really helping our customers and their financial needs. But actually, some of the things that that brings with it is quite a complex heritage set of data. Mm -hmm. And for us to be really successful in meeting customer needs in the future, we really need to get to high quality, well curated data available in the cloud. And AWS as a partner are helping us to solve that problem. Yeah. And I actually wanted to ask, so how does AWS analytics, like what services and products are you using to help address those issues? So today we're um, going to be talking a lot about how we're adopting Amazon SageMaker Unified Studio to help us create a data marketplace. And what that will help us to do is really make our data more accessible to make better customer-driven decisions and to really help improve our customer experience. So we'll talk a lot about how we were quite early to start adopting this technology with the support of AWS um, and Accenture in, in a three-way partnership. And we're really pushing to get our data into a state that will enable us to deliver generative and agentic AI at scale. And so you mentioned making data more accessible. Is there a way that you're measuring success or any metric you're using? Well, yes. And today we were really excited to see some of the announcements around Amazon Quick. Mm -hmm. So in our organization, the dream would be to increase the users that we have on Amazon Quick. We're already over a thousand, but we'd like the whole organization to be able to safely access the data they need to serve our customers. And we also think that that will really enable us to allow more of our teammates to access Amazon Q as well mm -hmm. and really drive out powerful insights that make our customer lives better or their businesses more successful. Amazing. Well, speaking of success, I actually, I was just looking on LinkedIn, looking you up to see what you were up to. And I, I noticed that not only yourself, you got the 10th the spot, I think, for data and AI from Data IQ. Congratulations. Thank you so much. But NetWest has also received two awards. So what can you tell my audience, you know, if there's a financial services company out there who wants to replicate your success, you're clearly doing something right. What advice do you have for them? Do you know, I would say the really important thing that we found is to be quite crisp on what are the problems we're trying to solve both for ourselves or for our customers and then engage with our partners early yeah. to say, actually, here are some of the problems or the challenges that we have. Have you seen these before and how can we work together to solve them? My mantra is it's a team sport and I really feel that we work as part of a team. I love it. I agree. It is a team sport. And to my audience, I will share some links to some of the products and services that we just talked about so you can go and explore for yourself. And Karen, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Cheers.